Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and we're on air. Today we're going to do a little bit of fabricating, and we're going to fabricate the back window in the car. Uh, when I chop the roof off, I chop the bottom off the back window. We have to replace that to put a back window in it, obviously, and we're going to do that together. I've got it started. I made a two-inch strip. Jolene said, hold up. we got to videotape that, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to videotape it. Um, yeah, so I took a ruler, it's two inch, and the, re and the reason I'm going to do it two inch is because of this. I've got a lip that holds the window up this way, that's going to, for the window to go in and flat and lay down. And then I got an inch come out this way, that's going to go over top of the back roof that we're putting in for a rumble seat. And I want to do this before I weld that in, I guess. It does not matter. Actually, I do want to do that before I weld that in because I cannot stand in there and put that in. So where, where that's not welded in, I can stand in there and work on that back window. And that's why we're going to do it. Alrighty, let's cut this piece off. Put the plasma cutter on. This is what we're going to do. We're going to cut a piece off. have to use my brain on this a little bit. It's not that much brain work, but I have to stay. What do I have to stay? I have to keep my brain on the prize. And the prize is putting a piece in the back window area to lay a window in. Um, I'm going to hold that on there and hopefully I can trace that off. Man, that's nice. Not as nice as you though, Jolene, baby. Jolene came out this morning in a white top, a pair of shorts on. I couldn't tell she had no shorts on. And wow we. Wow we. Got a liner here for four feet. Cool. Really happy with the Lincoln plasma cutter. Very happy with it. Works absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm going to clean the slag off of this. We're going to get a 90 bent into it for. We're going to get a 90 bent in. Then we're going to go to the shrinker stretcher. So what we're going to do, gonna take flapper wheel, knock slag off. Straighten off the end. Come on. Alrighty. We got a two inch strip. I'm going to bend it right in the center. Give me an inch either way. Gives me an inch for the bottom, an inch for to hold the window in. Talk to you as I talk to myself, and that way there I know what I'm doing. How's that? So we get a two inch piece. We're gonna go inch. Inch. I'm saying that we're in the center. Let's go bend it in the break.
Hmm. Pick that up, pull it down a little bit. Good. Let's get herself a 90. 18 gauge I'm using. It's what I generally use all the time anyways. It's just kind of stuck on it. Actually, with all the grinding that's being done on the car, it's nice to have a piece of 18 gauge because you really have something to grind. Speaking of that, you can see where I stripped the roof, the roof panel that I cut out of the car originally. We're gonna use it for a rumble seat. You can see how they stripped it with the grinder right here. You can see how it's all gouged. And I think they must have found it what they were doing and then stopped, <laughs> basically. So this, st this stuff here um, is gouged. You'd have to repair that other with piling the primer on it, blocking it off, or putting a skim of filler or two-part putty on that to fix that. But basically, using a grinder or a flapper wheel is not the suggested thing to do to strip your car. That's why I like to use the 40-grit sandpaper. Um, it will sand off with an 80 grid it'll polish up again nice so what i need to do is is i need to get this shape to mock this shape and apply it to the bottom of the window that's what i'm going to do let's do it And I'm going to use the stretcher because I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to make it go this way. If I was shrinking it, I'd be pulling it together. I'm going to pull it down like this. So I'm going to stretch it. And the way, the way I know it's a stretcher is because the teeth are together. When you pull the teeth down, it pulls it apart. This one has the teeth where it's open. And when you pull it down, it pulls it together. I'm telling myself at the same time. So I'm going to start in the middle by just by looking at it. And I'm going to just give it a little, little pry down and start just bending it slowly a little bit. I got quite a bend out there, I know that. So I'll just give it a little bit. And this would be hard. Well, you could bang it on the floor. Yes, you could. But where I have this, why not use it? Jolene's got a beautiful tan going on, baby. I must say, you got a beautiful tan going on. She's just like a Werther's. She's worth a lot to me, boys. All right. You can see how I got half that going. See how half that got that bent already? See that, can you? I'm going to go to the other side. Just going to run it through the other way. I can see where the teeth were. I'll even show the teeth after I get it. Out of here, I'll show the teeth marks. You don't really have to press down that hard to get something going on this thing. You really have to be careful, sort of. I'm gonna guess I'm using this because this is more controlled than banging it on the floor. And what I mean by controlled is, is if I was hitting this on the floor, it would probably bend the ends of it up. Then I'd have to bang it with a hammer. I'm not interested in doing that right present moment. So just by doing that easily, that's what I got. Let's go check it out. I'm going to move this for you, sweetie pie. We got a gift sent to us. And I'm going to show you in the end, it's by Benny Riv Riviera, by Benny Riviera. He sent Jolene the steering wheel for her Bugatti and maybe even a radio, I'm not sure. But uh, it's quite a gift. I'm quite taken back by Benny's um, generosity. Wow. Alrighty, let's get this in here. Basically want to see if you can see how I'm up here, and I'm right on the center here. I'm right on. I still got some distance, probably half inch there. Let's, let's get this situated here. 
We probably got a half inch on either end. I see Fina wants which side. I got to get out of here anyways. I'll let her out. But I got a half inch to bend on either side to bring it down. I'm going to bend it some more. Not bend it. I'm going to stretch it some more to make it work. I'm trying to mock the square stock that's in the back window. Alrighty. There you go. She wants to go out and work. That's what she does. She works. Let's get it some more bend on it, some more, some more stretch on it. Now, I'm just not, what am I not sure? It was touching in the center, it had half on either end. I'll just go. I wonder if I sh stretched it in the center, if that would make it. I'm just going to pull this back and go to the center. Just going to hit it a couple times. Hit it that way. And I'm going to hit it this way. Hmm. Wow. I really, really weed whacked her there, didn't I? Ugh. Gotta go check that. I might hit it a little too much. This could take a minute or two because of what's going on. Now I've got too much in the center. Got to take some out of that. Now I'm going to have to hit it with the shrinker and uh, bring it back. Come back, baby, come back. Get in there. Maybe you should have hit it at the end. Let's take it back out again. I think I got it back. It's going to take me a minute to get this to go across there. I think I made the wrong decision of actually. That side's not bad. I'm going to hit a little bit on this side. ever so much, eh? Just a little bit. Come on now. I'm hoping I can get this in shape before too long. Just kind of eyeing up here right now. It seems to be good over there all the way along. Right about, I'm going to mark that this time. Here, somewhere, maybe there. I just start bringing it to curl it down a little bit. If it's good up along there, just put a little more shape in it. Better check it, or I'll have too much in it, I'll be out. All right. That doesn't look bad. That looks good. It does not look bad. All righty, I'm going to get up inside there now. And I'm going to have to do some cutting, probably, where I'm going to get it to fit. Now, where, where this is on here now, like when I've set it out like this, um, I got a gap going on there, but I still have to, I still have to make a piece or I've got a piece that I fabricated or I made that I can set in here that goes in here like this. That's going to probably weld in there like that. Just made it out of Bristol board first and made a piece goes in there like that. Probably will sit in there a little bit better. 
probably will sit up angled like so, so the water has to run down. We want the water to run away from the window, so it's either going to run down away from the window that way. If the water's up here, it's going to run down there, but we want it to run out towards, away from the car, right away from the window. So I've got that shaped on the back side. I had to bevel that on the back side to get that to work in there, like get it to come down. I might even have to get it some more. Um, there's a piece right here that I'm probably going to have to grind off a little bit more and cap that. So that's just a matter of making a square and sticking a square piece of metal on there and capping that. But I'm going to have to cut it off enough that I have enough room when I weld it up. I also can fill it, basically. But right now, what I'm trying to make is I want to make this 90 that goes from here all the way over to here so I can lay a window in it. And the, the 90 has to come across here and I have to have a gap here for it to come up because this piece is going to come up here and weld on top of this and I, I, st well, I would like to have a 3 16 or maybe even a little better and then I can lay a window on there and then after I get this piece made what I have here after I get this piece applied I'm going to have to make a piece on the back side of this so we have a 3 16 gap on, on this piece, underneath the, back, underneath the window, there's going to have to be a piece underneath here. So if water runs in, when water runs in between there, it hits that barrier and then runs down and goes away. So there's three or four different things I got to do here. And uh, basically what I want to do first is make the bottom of the window. I want to make the bottom of the window. So I'm shoving this in here. And I want to make this piece. This is a piece I want to make first. I want to shove it over the same distance on either side. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it, cut it, and weld it on. So I'm going to trace this lip here. Trace that lip there. Let's cut that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut what I, where I've marked it. I'm going to cut cut this piece off, this, this, this piece here, and cut that off so I can butt weld it to that. This piece is going underneath. I'll see what happens there. See what happens. And I left the roof out for this. For this. I, have to, I want to do this before I start applying that. That'll be the last thing that gets welded in this car because if I want to make any braces or anything like that, I have a chance to come in and do it. With, with that on, I have to go through the door and become a smaller person and just it just makes it harder. So I'm going to leave that out until it's time. <laughs> thinking square stock on the back of there but the square stock I would have had to cut the whole length of it it just it just would have been a little bit more work I think I would have used the square stock so now I'll pull this up now when I lay that in there that goes in there like that that'll go in there like that beautiful that'll go in there like that awesome um, what I'm thinking is uh, I, let me see this here now When I pull that up, does that cap that? It sure does. Pulls that up, caps that. Hmm. Not bad. It's not in there all the way. Just trying to make it fit the best it can. I have to cut a little more off this side. Bit 
there. I'm going to take and cut this a little bit more. I'm not going to use an inch for my lip, I don't think. I'm going to have to shear this off, all this edge along here. I don't think I'm going to use that edge. I'm going to have a flat edge here, so that's why I trimmed it off. good so basically I want the same distance all the way along there and that's what I'm looking for and it doesn't not look bad I'm not going to keep this distance up here I'm not going to keep that that inch that full inch I'll probably take it down to three-quarter inch and probably run some tape across it and then make a new line is what I'll probably do what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the welder up and I'm going to tack that on there I'm just going to tack it on there in case I have to take it off I do not know about this piece that goes underneath there yet because I haven't got these pieces in yet to know whether, whether that's going to work or not. What I'm thinking is, is I'll probably make them their own pieces. I'll probably do that. I'm probably going to cut this, just thinking out loud. Um, I'm still going to have to make that angle or make, yeah, so I'm going to make that work. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that back in place where I want it like that. I'm going to mark it like this. I'm going to end it. Stop it. Stay still. I'll just do one side at a time then. How's that? It wants to act like that. I'm going to take and mark that across there like that. I'm going to cut that off and put that in there like that. And this side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm not going to leave that underhang there. I'm going to do that after. So I'm going to cut that off like that and cut that off that end and then I'm just going to weld it along here, along here, and along here. I'll cap the bottom off after I get them pieces in. It'd be foolish to me to leave that piece on, um, I think, before I get the little pieces in the corner. I want to get this piece on to keep the window nice and straight and sturdy first. be painting a Fiero in the next little while probably the next week or so or this week or I'm not sure when yet but we're going to be doing a Fiero and uh, he took us out to supper last night to thank us we haven't done it yet but he took us out to thank us and uh, we went to the Wayfair Ale Society and uh, it was an awesome time good food and good brew I suggest if you get a chance to go there it's in Port Williams uh, it's got a good, the water comes in there. Um, it was just, everything was awesome. I had some pickled nachos. Pickled, what, pickled chicken nachos, are they called? Chicken pickle? Man, tickled me pink. <laughs> there were some good. There were some good. Even, and the booze was good too, actually. They make all their own brew, and they do a great job. <laughs> Just want to give them a little shout out because I thought they did a fantastic job on the on the food. And it's an old school teacher of mine that I think runs it or owns it one or the other. And uh, well done. Eric Manzer, well done. Just going to stick that in there like that. There, I'm starting to get where I want to go. All right, I'm going to start the welder up and tack that in there. And... Uh, Say that, that makes me happy. That takes a second or two to get that in there. I mean, let's face it, we're making a back window section. I gotta leave enough space to weld that in. Um, you want enough space to make the gap right. It's just something that you wanna take your time on and try to get it right, basically. Alrighty. 
just going to tack it in for a second, and then and then I'll, as I get going, I'll weld it in so it stays there. So, basically, I'm liking that. Well, must have liked it. One tack, it's in place. Two, it's it's there. Just looking for the gap all the way across. I nailed it. We got. That lip there is going to be cut off. It's not going to come out that far. I don't think it's going to come out that far. No, it's not going to come out. Well, don't know yet. Don't know yet. We got a nice little gap there going on. I'm not a bit minding that, but too bad. Go and tack it. She's in place. And I'm going to tack this one over here. Not a bad distance there. Gonna come out some. That's where the window's flush like that. It was sitting in like that. I gotta bring it out some so it's gonna give me more distance. I still gotta grind that. I still gotta cap that underneath there, and I still have to put one of these pieces in there. So when if any water gets in there, it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna have to put that piece in. Then there's gonna have to be a so I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be quite a few steps to it, really. It's gonna be this, get it in there, and lean it up so it come, the water runs down. Then there's going to have to be a section like this that stands up, go along here, and then all the way across there um, for the water can't go in there and, and go down in. So I'm going to, yeah, it's going, I'm going to have to lay uh, a piece of metal on there. It can be 18 gauge, it can be a little thicker if it wants to be, it can be just about anything, I guess. Lay a piece of metal on there, trace that shape. Take a piece of tape, run along it, it'll be that shape, it'll give me like a three quarter inch piece of that shape, and then I'll just tack it on the back side and seam seal it. Put a piece of going up here on this piece, a 90 going up this way. I'm going to have to make it fit in here, so it's going to have to make sure, like, I'm going to have to be able to shut the door, but what I'm saying is that it has to have somewhere so the water can't get in, basically. Got the bottom of the window going on here. Just gonna, just gonna tack it on a little bit better. What the heck? I think it's in place. I must think I got it going on because I'm welding it in. <laughs> Looks good. Take this, knock it up. Make sure it's tight. That's on the other side, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it looks good. Awesome. When you're welding something like that down in the corner, you got one piece of metal going this way and a piece of metal going up this way. Make sure you can see where your wire's at and put it right in the corner. Then you'll be fine. If you can't see where your where your wire's going and you're and you're welding, well then you're going to have a hard time. But if you put your wire right in the corner and see it, start one right on top of the other, should be fine. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Just welding that in there. Leave that there for a second. Uh, put one more spot of weld up here. Alrighty. We've got a nice gap going on there all the way across. I'm saying it's fairly equal. 
I do not want... Oh, it's got that piece holding it in there. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I'm going to do. Well, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Probably should leave that the same distance as that all the way across, should I not? Probably should. I was going to cut that off. I was going to take a marker and cut that off, but that's going to be, well, there's going to be a piece on top of that. That's going to go with the window. That's the same width as this. I want the same width all the way across. I think that's fine. I do not want that lip there, there, or right there. I do not want it that high. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take, let's take a look at this. I want to take a look at this piece here. I can stick this piece in now. Where that's fitting there, all I have to do, what I want to do now is I want to check and see if I can get them fit in there and see how it's going and cut them and maybe stick them in there. All righty. That one's fitting in there right now. Oh, I can see perfectly. I can see clearly now. Is that how it goes? I can see clearly now. I'm going to take a mark it because I can see it. It's going on the inside. I've got that leaned up. This piece here, I got it leaned up. So I think it's, it could be exactly where it goes. But I want, if you, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's hitting right here. I'm just going to mark it up a little bit so I can take a little more off. I'll flip it up like this. So I want a little more off this. A little bit more. I'm going to take that off. That's angled up, so I'm saying that's fine. Haven't got the fiber wheel in here, but I got a cutting disc. I can see that's angled out or angled up, so I'm fine there. It's going to go on the inside. And what that does is that leaves me enough to cap that. So if I weld that in there like that, then I've got enough room to cap that. So I'm going to have to run a piece. Hmm. Goes in, it's going to have to go in there like. Like so. And cap that. So I can weld it all the way, weld that across there, weld that across there, weld that down along there, cut this piece off, and weld it all the way around. And I still think I'm going to have to take it up just a little bit because you know what happens after um, you weld that all up, and weld that on, weld that on. You might want to put some fill around it. You know what happens then. So basically that'll be the piece. And that's the piece I cut off that, so that's good. And it's the right distance too, so we can weld it all the way around there. I got another one of these pieces. I just made two pieces of what's going on there. There's another piece on this side. I haven't got this welded on here yet. I have to weld that on before I do that. That has to be leaned up. This piece here has to be brought down to the square stock and be welded. This piece here, haven't done that yet, so I'm going to have to do that. So that's going to take a little bit of time to do that. Stick that in there like so. That comes down. You can see that that one's stuck out. It's hitting it. So basically, i got to go inside here and take a look. I can see where it's hitting, and then I'm going to have to cut it off. And then I'll take the exact same piece from the other side that I cut off, this piece, and cap that. So it's going to be a little bit of messing around. I, what I'm going to do right now, just to make it look better for me and you, any three-quarter inch tape out around there, sweetheart? I got some right here, actually. Look at that, would you? Got some three-quarter inch tape right here. 
I'm going to cut the window piece out because we're not going. I'm not going to keep the inch on there. I'll just do a three-quarter inch piece all the way across. I use tape to get my line. I'm thinking. Same distance all the way across. It's coming off, doesn't it? I got to roll in there a little bit. I am. Take the zip cut. Cut that off. Basically, I'm going to make some noise. I'm going to cut that off. stuff off so I don't hurt myself. It'll give me a nice little lip to put the window on. It's not too big. It doesn't look out of place. If it was an inch, it would just look out of place. I think it would be too much. Watch yourself, sweetheart. Probably hot. Ouch. Alrighty, so there is my window opening that I'm going to have. So the piece that the roof is going to come in, it's going to weld the top along that. It's going to take some space away from that, but we should be fine. There's, I don't want too big of a gap going on there. Let's face it, it's the window. Um, but it's still going to go in there and weld on that seam. We should be fine, I'm hoping. Well, I'm pretty sure we are. If not, I have to make it and cut it and bring it back up again if, if that's the case. But we've got probably a quarter inch there. So it should be fine. They're only got 18 gauge. We're nailing it down right on that edge. So we should have enough. Now I got to get a piece of metal or paper or whatever and come in here and do this. I got to do this. Just come in here and trace the shape all the way along. And then I'll make a, I'll take that piece that I trace, I trace that shape all the way along, get a piece of Bristol board. Then I'll take and go like this, or I might just take a piece of tape and put along it, 
but I mean, it might pay, take two pieces of tape, so it's an inch and a half, and mock that line. And then I can cut it, and then mock, take half of it, and put it on the back of the window. I wouldn't put it any taller than this, because I don't want to see it above that, but I would probably add that on there. And then they're going to have to add a half inch piece over here on this, like this, add a half inch here, and then come all the way around like that so it closes that off. Then the window can come down. It'll be on the back side of it right here. So no, nothing can get inside. When the water comes down, runs on this, it'll run into that, into this piece here. And it'll run over there and go off. Open. Or I could, as far as that goes, um, when this is all said and done, there could be a rubber laid on top of that roof section go all the way across here. So when this window comes back down, it seals it off. It, you know, there's many different ways to skin the CAD. It's just how am I going to do it? Uh, but the first step of getting the back window done was to make this. I have, you know, I want to get this done so I can know where to put my window, what it's going to fit like. I have to cap them in there and do that sort of stuff. All right. Let's check out and see what Benny Riviera sent. It's quite something else, actually. Benny is a, a fine man, or a good man, and I'll tell you why. I'll show you why. He sent this to us in the mail, and it's qu quite something else for a gift. And uh, thanks, Benny. Handle with care. Ah, nice. So Benny Riviera from New York sent us this. <laughs> Would you look at that? Wow. Stainless steel steering column automatic. Got the shifting lever right there. Got the signal lever right there. Got the plug-in right there. That will come to good use, Benny. We will use that. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Thank you very much. I can't say no more than that. That's quite a gift. Thank you very much. And we want to give a shout out to Wayfair Ale Society because we had a great time. And he's an old school teacher of mine. I want to show him a little bit of support. And if you ever get a chance to go there, I suggest you do. Good food, good beer, and good view. That's what I can say. Um, Alrighty, there's the back window section that I'm going for. I'm kind of just trying to figure it out as I'm going. But that wasn't too hard to make that in there. Basically, what I have to do, figure it out the more, is to, so it does not leak, basically. Do we have the computer up here? We do not have the computer up here. We're leaving the computer down at the house generally because the, the metal and stuff is ruining it. And uh, we'll have to find out a way to give a hat or shirt away every once in a while. Um, did I talk about the scratch marks on the thing? Yes. Alrighty, did I show them that we, did I show you how we got the, the, the door missing now? We got the door missing, we got the fill out down the bottom, got the looking pretty good, you know, got a little more filler on it. Uh, when I got down in here, I found some bronze and stuff and I covered it up and looked away. <laughs> but anyways, it's going good. Um, we'll get the back window done and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks everybody. Like, share, comment, tell your friends, tell your mother, tell your father, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your uncle, tell your friends. All right, everybody, have a good one.